Welcome back Heraclix fans. Today I have another unboxing featuring the DC Heraclix Batman set. This is amazing. Really excited for this. Batman is my favorite comic book character and this set surely will not disappoint. I've already released the set list online, so check that out on Facebook. But right now, we have an unboxing. Before I get started, I am just gonna do the unboxing and probably display all the figures, but not do a lot of the recap of how good the figures are, because on Friday, I'm having my second round table, which will have George Massu, Patricia Lamb, and Edward Shelton. All of them are great and accomplished Heraclix players, and they're gonna be on my round table on Friday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. So definitely, if you like this unboxing and you wanna know a little bit more about the set, we will, in the round table, go through all the figures released from the Batman set and discuss them, pumping it or dumping it, and uh, telling you what uh, is good and bad in this set. All right, guys, well, let's unbox this set. I'm gonna start from this end and work my way down. I kept them in the exact same order they are in the brick. I know a lot of people like to know where figures are pulled out of a brick, so I want to keep it to that formula. This set has five Batman chase figures. It has prime figures, super boosters, like vehicles. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff in there featuring Wildcats, Outsiders, and the Batman family. All right, looks like I have uh, Rex Mason here, which is a super rare. We have a Nightwing, we have a Robin. We have a red uh, rocket red and the Joker thug, some fat guy. Cool. We'll just go right down the order. This is an Arkham guard, a black bat, thunder, Roy Raymond Jr., and bad Samaritan. Interesting looking guy here. Super rare. Dr. Phosphorus. This was one that I didn't necessarily want, but uh, looks kind of cool, and the power structure on him is really awesome. It's got like the charge with a really low attack, but um, it's Batman enemy, so you can bump that up to um, copy uh, adjacent Batman enemy attack. So that seven can be a lot better than that. Lucius Fox, El Gacho, okay. Katana, whoa, I really, really wanted Katana. That's actually a really good dial too. Ooh. Oh, Poison Ivy. That looks cool. So what is this? I see a flock of bats. Aaron Cash. Okay, this is the common Batman. I, I, I couldn't tell at first. Okay, and then Poison Ivy. That's my rare. Very nice. Here's the flock of bats card here. So I was really unsure if this what rarity this was. So this must be a common, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's in there. Batwoman looks really awesome. Then we have Beats Boy, a Pterodactyl here. That's pretty cool looking. And that is Batgirl, and that's Nightwing. All right, so we have another, okay. Uh, August General and Iron. Looks similar to the original one that they made, but it looks cool. Uh, Dick Grayson, nice sculpt. Night Thrasher, that's interesting. I've never seen that character. That's pretty cool. Katana again, and Bruce Wayne. Final two end ones. Big Barda, looks amazing. Aaron Cash, Hired Henchman, and we have an Arkham Guard. So this, this little brick here has quite a bit of generics in it so far. Our last individual booster, this was the top right all the way in the back on the end. And let's see. Oh, I see something. Some, some, oh, it's my chase. It's that bat, I think it's the Omega Batman. Oh, that is cool. That is wicked cool. All right, so this is the Omega Batman. This is one of the chase figures. He is number uh, 57. He's got no TA, he's 218 points. Got phase in, special power for attack and special for damage. In, uh, in Dom, 18, impervious, seven range, and he's got a trait. I'm not gonna read it all out, but I'm gonna let you see the card so you can read it and see all the powers he has. And that's Omega Batman. So now we're gonna open up our first vehicle and let's see what we get. I'm pretty excited for this. Oh, it looks like a plane. It looks like the Batwing, right? Yes, the Batwing. 
Okay, that's really, really cool. I wanted at least the Batwing or the Batmobile. So I can uh, sleep happy tonight, even if I don't get the Batmobile on the other one. The Batwing is very cool looking. If you were curious to see what the Batwing look like when it's all put together, this is what it looks like. It looks really, really cool. Uh, what can I say? This is a really neat vehicle. It looks really awesome. Not sure if I'm gonna be playing a lot of vehicles, but um, it's definitely gonna be a nice little piece to collect, for sure. Uh, I was pretty happy with the first one. I believe it was two super rares and a chase and the Batwing. And not too bad, not too bad. I didn't necessarily see if there was any um, prime figures, but I'll have to go back and see uh, through uh, the cars and stuff, but not too bad. Okay, we have another Beast Boy, Night Thrasher. This one is KG Beast. This is a, a rare Batwing figure. I'm actually gonna go and jump right to the big uh, Super Booster because it's gonna be out of frame soon. This one's considerably a lot more heavier than the Batwing Booster, so this might be the tank, I'm thinking. Not one that I really wanted, but um, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Oh, wait. I don't know what, oh, it might be the bug. Oh, this might, something interesting. It looks like the bug, wow. Wow, this thing is huge. This is something I wanted for sure. So here we have the beetle out of the packaging and wow, does it ever look amazing. It's pretty huge. This is what it looks like next to the uh, bat wing. You can see it just dwarfs it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, back to the boosters. What is that? Mr. Unknown. I don't really know who that is. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Okay, first Harley Quinn. Everything else has uh, been seen already. No super rares so far out of this one. We have Catwoman. Looks like a Joker. Beast Boy. Super rare. Voodoo and Dick Grayson. So all my super rares so far have been kind of lackluster to me. So uh, we'll see, hopefully we'll get another one and maybe it'll be uh, one that I want, like a Mr. Freeze or something. All right, Lucius Fox, Alfred, Aaron Cash, Flock, and Black Bat. Wow, this would have been a really sad booster for Sealed. 42 points, 42 points, 44 points. Wow, that would have been really bad. Okay, it looks like we're missing an arm on my Bruce Wayne. Oh, wow. Really? Maul, KG Beast, Hired Henchman, and Bruce Wayne. Oh, that, that stings. That stings. And if you look at it, it's clearly just missing. I didn't see it in the package. No hand. Oh, man. That's a rare, that's a rare prime figure with a missing arm. Okay, moving on. Batman, Flock of Bats, and Sasha. Wow, I miss, I am, I'm not, I don't have, I'm missing figures here. I still have two boosters and I'm missing quite a bit. Another black bat. I need another one of her, of course. What is this? Booster Gold. All right, cool, that's one I, uh, Hugo Strange. Batgirl again, and Black Bat. Last, let's see. Bad Samaritan, okay. Oh, we're gonna wrap this up really quick here. This is the whole common set, Batman through Harley Quinn. Actually, Batgirl uh, way back there, she's actually the last one. I did get all three of the flock of bats, which is pretty cool. I'm not missing any of the commons. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Definitely can't complain about that. And then over here, are all the extra commons, and then that back row are my generic commons. So, kind of got a lot of doubles. That's kind of to be expected with uh, commons. So here is the uncommons that I have, and you're looking, and you're like, wow, you're missing something. Yep, I'm missing Two-Face. So that really was, um, made me sad a little bit. I don't have the Black Queen, which would be the uh, prime figure. Oh, and I also, only have the normal Catwoman. I do not have the Prime Selena Kyle, which I would like to pick that one up. But for the most part here, I got everything in the uncommons, but the Two-Face, so not too bad. Uh, a lot of these figures look pretty cool. I like this set better than I thought I was going to. 
but I'm a little disappointed when you get to see my next pulls. So here are my rares. Uh, Big Barda, Bad Samaritan, Poison Ivy, Rocket Red, uh, Batwoman, uh, Bruce Wayne, that is the Prime from Hush, August, uh, General and Iron, Hugo Strange, Lucius Fox, Batwing, and Mr. Unknown. I'm missing Hush, uh, the regular rare, uh, not the Prime of Bruce Wayne. I'm missing Halo, and I'm missing Warblade. So that was kind of disappointing. I did pull three extra rares so I could possibly trade to get the ones I need. Uh, maybe not. I don't think these ones are going to be the most sought after ones. But I was like, wow, I'm missing a bunch. But then I realized I only had three extra rares. So that's not that bad, especially when you're only opening 16 boosters. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult to get the rest of it all set. These are my doubles for uncommon, so I didn't get a ton of doubles for my uncommons. So here we have my four super rares. I was a little disappointed with this. I thought I would get maybe five super rares hoping, uh, but that wasn't the case. I did want Booster Gold. That's really cool. And Rex Mason, Metamorpho, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Dr. Uh, Phosphorus, not that big of a fan of the character, but the dial is pretty cool. I like that you can uh, use poison at any point of the, in your turn as a free action. Also, uh, the seven attack is really terrible, but it's a Batman enemy, so if you're next to a Batman enemy, you can copy their attack, and then that attack is not too bad with exploit weakness of three damage. Uh, so it's not that bad. It's just not a figure that I was really hoping to get. And then Voodoo, I don't know anything about this character, but she has a special uh, mind control ability where if you mind control someone and you try to mind control them again, uh, you don't need line of fire to them. So that's really, really cool. But the character itself is nothing. And it wasn't someone that I really wanted to get. But she looks cool. Uh, figures that I really wanted to pick up in the Super Rare slot would have been Black Lightning. I really wanted that. Also, Mr. Freeze, that would have been awesome. I wanted at least one of those Super Rare Batman, either the Prime one or the regular Super Rare, just so I could use the flock of bats with them. I thought that would be really, really awesome. And then Geoforce would have been pretty cool. I'm a little disappointed with my Super Rares, but for the most part, though, a lot of the Super Rares are not that super powerful. Metamorpho is pretty cool, and Booster Gold is actually a pretty good Booster Gold. And then for my chase, I have Omega Batman, which is probably one of the cooler sculpts. The next one would have been Green Lantern Batman, but this one's pretty cool. I'm not super excited for him because I don't really know much about this character, but it's a really cool uh, Chase Batman. And then my two vehicles, I have the Bug and Batwing. I'm pretty happy with those. Those are really, really awesome. I think those redeemed this case. The Batwing is awesome and the Bug's probably one of the most sought after vehicles. Uh, the only thing better than this would have been the Batmobile, but I can live with the Batwing. I'm pretty happy with this. Overall, I have to give this case probably uh, an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, take it easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and you guys have better luck than I did. I don't think I had the worst luck, but it could have been better.